Hi there, this is Marissa from digitalscrapbook.com and today I'm going to show you how to use a layout template in Affinity Photo. So you can see here on my desktop I have Affinity Photo opens and I will just show you off to the side here I have this folder where I have downloaded this kit and I have my layout template and I have this picture which I'm going to use and you can see here at digitalscrapbook.com this is the kit I'm going to use which I've downloaded and this is the layout template that I'm going to use and you're going to want the PSD version here to make this work and so to get started I'm going to go ahead and drag in this layout template and we've got some errors here I'm not exactly sure what they mean I think they might be related to the, the drop shadow the uh, layer style that's already been applied but everything looks okay so I'm not going to be too worried about that at this at this moment we'll maybe do a little bit with the shadows later and to start out with here, you can see I have my layers panel open here, this one called layers, and it's going to show you all the layers that I'm going to use. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select this black one. This is where my photo goes. And I'm going to grab my photo here and I'm going to drag it in. Okay, so now it's here. It's too big, uh, but we'll fix that in a moment. And what I'm going to do, I want to clip this photo here to this layer below it. So this is here above the photo and I'm just going to drag it until it's on top. You can see it's gone in there and I'm just going to let go. And so now it's kind of inside there. And if you open this up, you can see here's my picture. And um, it is too big. It's too big here. Um, and we can't, oh, can we change it? Oh, we can change it. Okay. So we can change the dimensions here, make it smaller. Now, sometimes I have seen it where this is locked where there's, see now, see there's this little lock thing here, and now I cannot transform it. So if I click on that lock, turn it off, now I can uh, shrink it down. Okay, so that's pretty nice. I've got my photo in there. I'm just going to shrink that back up so it doesn't distract us. And now I'm just going to start working at filling in these layers here. I'm going to start at the bottom with my background, and then I'm going to come over here. Remember, I have these... Um, I have all these papers downloaded, so I'm just going to start dragging these in. I'm going to start with this one here. This one's white. I pretty much always like to have a white background, so I'm boring like that. I'm going to drag that in. I think it's aligned there, um, and so we'll leave that there. Looks pretty good. Okay, and then we'll just keep going. This layer is actually, you can see it's not on. This was just a random extra layer that got left here, so I'm going to delete that because we don't even need that. And then I'm going to go up to the scalloped one and I'm going to drag in another paper here. And again, I want to clip this to the scallop layer. So I'm just going to drag it on top. And now it's still there. It's still highlighted. So I can kind of drag it around and get that paint where I want it. Um, and if you can't, let's see here. If I lose, let's see. I'm just trying to see how to select that again. Okay, so I'm having trouble selecting this. It keeps um, selecting that, but I can always come up here and I can manually just select that paper in there if I want to keep dragging it around. And you can also make this smaller, of course, if you want to get more of the texture or more of your pattern in the background. You can make it smaller that way. All right, so we're going to keep going. I'm just going to keep dragging in papers here, moving them around, and then clipping it here all right so now we've got this yellow one what color should we do here i thought something not too exciting but actually you know what this paper pack that i downloaded is only exciting so we're going to have to go for exciting here i'm just going to drag in this kind of neutral teal and now that i've brought that in i don't like that i have this paper here so i'm going to come in i'm going to delete this you can probably right click and say delete yeah, delete. Okay, I'm going to bring in something else. I think maybe something red now that I see what I'm doing. We'll bring in a little something red here. And then we'll drag that on top. And then I'm just going to line this up so that those pluses are looking a little more lined up. And let's see here. I did this one, the flower. We'll come back to that flower in a minute. Um, let's just finish here with the, these papers. And so I need one more. Do I have blue? I do have blue. That's why I picked out this kit was because there was some red and blue in my picture. And this bundle here has red and blue. Okay, so that is it for all of these papers here. 
Um, and let's see here. I wonder, can we type on this or did this get rasterized when we brought it in? Do, do, do. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is still editable. This was a, this, um, this, uh, font here. So I'm just going to type in, should we leave hello? I think maybe I'll just leave hello there. Well, or should we type in something cool? Okay. We'll type in something cool. Type in hello, Norway. All right. Should we see if we can figure out how to get these aligned here? Oh, right here. So our little text things have just popped up up here and I'm just going to put this to uh, center. And then what I'd really like to do is shrink the, uh, this here, I think is what I want. Can we make this smaller? There you go. Okay. So that, um, so you've got rid of that line there. Okay. So I'm going to put this here and because I'm lazy, I think I'm just going to try to clip a paper to this. Okay. And you know what I want because I'm also boring is I want a white paper. So we're going to come in here and we're going to get one because there's not one included in this kit, but luckily we've got a million white papers here. What one should we choose? We have too many. We'll go for this one. This has got some good texture on it. I'm going to download that. Find my affinity photo. I'm going to come here to my downloads folder. Okay, here we go. We're going to drag this in. Now, I'm not sure. Can we clip this to the title? Let's see. Let's drag it. Oh boy, we can. Okay, so that's looking great. So now my title there just has a little um, texture to it. I don't know why. Did they think I spelled Norway wrong? I don't know why that's underlined. Um, okay, so now let's move this flower a little bit over here. Okay, oh, we also have this nice scatter here. You know what? Maybe we'll, um, I'm not sure if the kit includes a scatter, so I'm just going to go ahead and clip um, this really bright, crazy paper here. I'm going to clip that on here just for fun. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Okay, and we could also, we'll see what flowers are included, but we could also um, just clip on some papers to these flowers as well. Um, but I think, I think there'll be some fun elements that we can use. Oh, here we can fill out this text as well. So I'm just clicking on this and it's just highlighted it. Um, and I'm just going to type in Fjord Cruise, which is fun. And then I'm just going to kind of move this. I'm going to move this over a little bit. So it looks a little bit more aligned. If you want to be perfect, what we're going to do here, I'm going to hold the shift button. And so now I have two, you can see I have two layers here selected and then we should be able to align these right here. We've got our aligned center. And so they're boom, they're now centered perfectly. If that kind of thing matters to you. All right. So now here we go. I'm going to come back. I've got my elements folder here. You can see, I'll just let you see here. We've got all this stuff here. I'm just going to start dragging things in. And we'll see where we get. So we have that one flower here um, up there. And I think I will, I'm going to drag in one of these. There are lots of flowers in this kit. So we might as well use that. And then this is too big. So I'm just going to see here on the side, they have the transform box there. So I'm just going to bring this in, shrink it. And then at this corner, I'm going to tilt it a little bit and put it there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and delete these two layers because I've brought in this layer here. And now this is really uh, tricky. So I've brought this layer in here and it doesn't have a shadow because all these other layers were already shadowed. It came in the PSD in the layout template. So we haven't done anything with layer styles. So you can see over here, this, these all say FX. So this is the, this is the, the layer effect. This is what's making the shadow. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to drag it. Oh, <laughs> So it did what it was supposed to do. I actually dragged the, the layer cell from the photo, which you can see has a white border. So that was great because it really made a big impact on what we did. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to drag another one. And now you can't see it as well, but they just put on a slight um, shadow there. And that is actually really cool that you can just drag these layer effects up there. That makes adding, uh, like sharing the layer or sharing the styles, excuse me, very easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and here. I do have some fun scatters here. So I'm going to drag this in. Um, that's not what I want. And this isn't exactly where I want. I think I'll put this here. 
and then we'll put this here and we'll tilt it a little bit do i like that no i don't like that i'm going to put it down here actually oh i like that okay and then i use this i do use this is my layout template i made it so i know that the scatter here in the background has a slightly different shadow than the papers so i'm going to drag this one up here to give it just a slight shadow and then we're doing pretty good um, i don't want to keep you here too long i'll maybe just drag in one more thing we'll go for this uh, butterfly and then i'll show you how to save this i'm just going to tilt this here i'll bring this down here oh look there's a flower hiding down here we'll have to fix that okay let's drag on our layer effect and then come down here we've got one flower here We'll bring in this nice white flower. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. Just put it there so it's kind of hiding. Delete that pink flower and then drag on our shadow. Okay, so that is looking great. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to save as here because I have my original one and um, I'm just going to call this layout. Well, actually, I guess I could have just saved it because now it's saving it as um, an affinity photo here you can see it here it saved it um, it's this guy here so you can see it saved this as dot af photo so if I want to open that um, in affinity photo again I can and then let's see if I remember how to do we need to export can we save as what can we save as here no just that okay so we don't want to do that we want to come here and I think go to export and then oh here okay so this is great so I could export this as a PSD if I want to you know send it to a friend with Adobe but we just are going to save it here as JPEG um, just because that's what we want so we can share it on the internet and then so this is full size here um, this is good if you want to save this here you know for your records or if you're planning to print a photo book but I'm going to share this on the internet so I'm just going to shrink it down to 2000 because why not and then I'm going to say um, export and that will here's my folder where it's going to go i'm going to save that and then let's see here i'll show you it's over here now and now you can see here's my layout all saved so that i can go i can share this in the gallery or i can share it on facebook i can email it to my mom whatever i want to do <laughs> all right well thank you so much for uh watching that tutorial with me the this uh, affinity series is a new series i'm doing so if you have any questions about Affinity Photo, please let me know, and I will try to address them in future tutorials. Again, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe, and have a great day.